Well, as we reported yesterday, the Los Angeles Dodgers will now recognize an anti-Catholic transgender group at an event next month. The team previously had disinvited the group known as the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence following pushback from church leaders and fans. The new decision has spurred one Catholic group into action. Catholic Vote has announced that it is launching a $1 million ad campaign against the Major League Baseball team and demanding it stop making a mockery of the Catholic faith. The Archdiocese of Los Angeles has also expressed its disappointment in the Dodgers' decision. The Archdiocese says around 30 percent of the population of Los Angeles is Catholic. And joining us now to talk more about this is Brian Birch, president of Catholic Vote. Brian, great to have you back on. Uh, a lot to unpack here, but first, let's talk about this group, the uh, Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. Uh, I would venture to say that most people have not heard of them until recently. Well, hopefully you haven't heard of them because they're one of the most vile, grotesque, and, and sacrilegious organizations out there. They're not sisters. They are homosexual men who dress up as nuns in order to mock the Catholic faith. Uh, they participate in sacrilegious and blasphemous rituals. They've stolen the Eucharist and desecrated it in a sexual act. Uh, they've, uh, they have condom masses. They have uh, names they call themselves and aren't even appropriate. They've you know, uh, gyrated on a cross. Their entire purpose is to mock and to make fun of Catholics and particularly Catholic nuns. And it's just detestable that a major league baseball team would not just invite them, but to select them out as an organization that will receive an honor and an award during Pride Night in middle in middle June. Yeah, it's unbelievable, Brian. Um, I want to talk about your ad campaign. Um, tell us more about this and, and what you hope comes from it. Well, as you reported, the Dodgers did rescind the invite and then a couple days later uh, uh, re-invited them and apologized for rescinding the invite. This came after massive pressure from gay rights groups. And in our opinion, Catholics need to stand up and fight back. You know, we're part of the fan base, too, of baseball. Uh, Catholics make up 30 percent of the population of Los Angeles, as you suggest. And we've uh, now announced that we will uh, launch this million dollar campaign. We're raising money for this uh, and we will launch ads on billboards, on Spanish radio, on television, on every Dodgers based media entity possible in order to alert fans and to push back against these woke corporations that now not aren't, aren't just sexualizing and, and doing kind of this scandalous Pride Month things, but now uh, incorporating anti-Catholic bigotry into these activities. Yeah, it, it really is mind blowing. Um, you know, I talk about the Dodgers now and their Catholic background because we know they have one. Their longtime radio announcer, Vin Scully, is not only Catholic, but uh, soon after his retirement, Hi, he and prayed the rosary for Catholic too. athletes for Christ. So what do you think he would think about all of this? Well, uh, God bless the late announcer and, and many other Dodgers. Uh, Coach Tommy Lasorda, of course, was a very proud Catholic. Many Dodgers, Mike Piazza, Steve Garvey, Gil Hodges, so many others. The Dodgers organization was run by a good Catholic family for many years until they sold about a decade ago. And unfortunately, this new ownership group seems willing to now smack Catholics back in the face with this stunt they're going to pull in mid-June. And again, Catholics at some point need to stand up and say enough is enough. We're not going to allow our faith to be mocked and scandalized, particularly in this way, to use nuns, women who devote themselves in service of the church, to allow them to be the, the instruments of mockery and denigration. And, and, and frankly, this is an embarrassment for not just the Dodgers, but for all of Major League Baseball. Yeah. Brian, I'm curious, um, who are some of the other voices speaking out against all of this? What are you hearing? Well, as you pointed out, the Archbishop of Los Angeles, the Archbishop of San Francisco, of uh, the Diocese of Orange, these are all surrounding dioceses. Uh, we are waiting to hear from some players who I understand may be speaking out, as well as some other professional athletes. You also have many fans. If you go on social media, so many fans are just outraged. Even today, we heard from a Jewish rabbi in Los Angeles who was so embarrassed by his hometown team. And he said, you know, I love baseball, but I love God more. Beautiful. Brian, we have probably 20 seconds left or so, but any final thoughts before I let you go? Yeah, if you're watching this, uh, you know, 
don't don't think you can't do anything. The example of Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light, now Target, now the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, when enough people stand up and speak their mind and defend what we believe, we can ha make a difference, and that's exactly what we're hoping to do here. All right, sounds good, Brian. Thank you so much for coming on and getting your insights. Uh, we always appreciate it. God bless. Thank you so much.